plastics pose a big risk not only to the health but to the environment and atmosphere as well. The theme of this year's Earth Day is Planet vs Plastics which calls for significant reduction in global plastic production. Recently, an international team of experts developed a way of using polyethylene waste as a feedstock and converted into valuable chemicals via light-driven photocatalysis. Most of the plastics used today end up being discarded and accumulated in landfills. Polyethylene or polythene is the most widely used plastic in the world. Daily food packaging, shopping bags and region bottles are all made from polyethylene. It is also the largest proportion of all plastic waste and primarily ends up in landfills posing a threat to global environment and ecology. The team led by experts from the University of Adelaide in Australia upcycle polyethylene plastic waste into ethylene and propionic acid with high selectivity using atomically dispersed metal catalysts. In the paper published in the journal Science Advances, the team used an oxidation coupled room temperature photocatalysis method to convert the waste into valuable products with high selectivity. Nearly 99% of the liquid product is propionic acid, alleviating the problems associated with complex products that then require separation. Renewable solar energy was used rather than industrial processes that consume fossil fuel and emit greenhouse gases. This waste to value strategy is primarily implemented with four components including plastic waste, water, sunlight and non-toxic photocatalysts that harness solar energy and boost the reaction. Ethylene is an important chemical feedstock that can be further processed into a variety of industrial and daily products while propionic acid is also in high demand owing to its antiseptic and antibacterial properties. The team's work aims to address contemporary environmental and energy challenges contributing to a circular economy. It will be of use in further scientific research, waste management and chemical manufacturing. The research team said the fundamental research provides a green and sustainable solution to simultaneously reduce plastic pollution and produce valuable chemicals from waste for a circular economy.